Nothing but illustrious guests. You've seen him for, on Saturday Night Live for 17, 17 seasons. seasons. God damn, this is the motherfucking hilarious Keenan Thompson, you coward. Come on out the bodega, Keenan! Yeah! 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 yeah. What up, Keenan, my guy! My guy! Hello, Saturday. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keenan, what's up, dude? Sen, Sen. Right. Why does Keenan feel like every cousin we've ever had? Like, you feel mad comfortable on, with him, man. man. Come on, like man. the cousin that did the, the right thing? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he lived in the suburbs. Yeah, right. like, I need to be more like Keenan. Well, stay in school. Right. Calvin <laughs> just got home from school. Hey, Calvin. <laughs> Keenan. Yeah, Keenan had a job for 17 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be like Keenan. I'm mm -hmm. like, all right, fine, mom. I'm working on this rap album, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so listen, no one has been on SNL longer than you. First of all, that's high praise, my God. That is high praise. You, a testament to the talent and the longevity. Thank what does that you, feel man. like? Thank like you, that's like that's you're the Robert Parrish of SNL. You, you're worth. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's, he's all the same. Yeah, word. let's take some time so everyone can pause and Google that. Yeah, <laughs> Robert Parrish. Everybody, Celtics from the eighty through what is it? 80, 84, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 to not two thousand three. Yeah, Back 80. when people used pay phones, yes. Yeah, the new Robert Ory. Is that more current? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That might work better. Um, what does it feel it like? It feels incredible. I, I don't really know what to compare it to. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because we just get up and try to go to work every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Forever. Like, does it still feel like work? Not as much as other things. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, the crazy part about it is, like, it's kind of my calm place now because, mm -hmm. like, I'm doing more shows and, like, commercials and shit. You see that thrifty shit? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Get that money, get that money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, SNL keeps me in New York. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? When my kids is going to school and it keeps me kind of, like, I know where I'm gonna be at for like a couple weeks out the month or whatever. As opposed okay. to being like, oh, come to Australia and do this movie or whatever. Like, not that I've been asked to go to Australia, but. <laughs> I mean, y'all, listen, you Kangaroo know, Jack. Yeah. Kangaroo you know Jack, Part three. Come on, man, three and four. Let's go. Kangaroo but, Jack, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> well, how do you, so, but you have a lot of projects going on. How do you do that while still on SNL? Because well, I know SNL, like, isn't the schedule like all week? It is. It's Monday through Saturday. But luckily, they're all NBC projects, so mm -hmm. it's kind of oh, okay. them to like work it out. But um, Bring the Funny, we shot that in a couple Stop weeks. Bring the Funny, Chris Teigen, yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. And you know Jeff Fox, really good mm -hmm. dude. Yeah, Amanda Seals yeah. is great. Producer on that. Get that right there. Get them checks. This is a flex you know area. Know you know what I mean? Get your flexing out. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. All that they made Keller producer as well, so he's living out there and he can be there every day. So I got to be there every day. And then yeah. What's your relationship like? Is this still dog. Yeah. Is chilling? You got the group chat? We send each other like nudes? I mean, not of each other, but. <laughs> Yo, fam, you need to tighten that Yo, up. Fam. <laughs> You're gonna shave that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we good. That's my brother for life, man. Yeah. And, you know, he's he's a really positive dude. You know what I'm saying? He's like a youth pastor these days, so he's like on another level with it. Do your kids wanna be famous? My daughter is a ham, my oldest. Mm -hmm. She's definitely very funny. And I think she wants to perform. She's always like doing shit in the mirror or like, daddy, look at this or whatever. Is she, is she funny or is she like, damn, that's my daughter. I gotta be like, yeah. You gotta give it up. Yeah. You gotta give it you up. Give it up. You gotta give it up. Talk to him. him. But also, like, like, she could use a little more perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Five years old. <coughs> yeah, that was a good step. We got to punch it up a little bit. Right, you know right, right. I need to tighten that five. Right, we're going to hire a writer for you. Nah. But uh, yeah, they're both sweet, man. You know, mm -hmm. little girls like to just, you know, entertain their dads, I guess. Did your kids ever try to play you? Because my son recently tried to play me. Explain. And say <laughs> that a YouTuber, I'm not going to say their name, because mm. they're on YouTube, not television. This is, this is television. This is TV. So you know the difference. People are paying for this. This is television. All right? You don't gotta just go to Starbucks and get the free Wi-Fi. All right. To watch this shit. <laughs> anyway, he was like, this YouTuber is way more famous than you. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. I'm way more popping than him. Well, first, I would suggest maybe taking the cursing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talk to the okay. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, I'm sure I'm not the most famous person to my daughter at all. Not even close. He's like, Travis Scott is way more cool, Dad. Yeah, or even Ryan opening the toys. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, Ryan! Ryan the toy kid is like out, you know, Ryan. he's outrageous. Who, who is, who? Ryan's this toy kid named review, Ryan, man. Ryan's Yo. toy review. Yo, he started YouTube just opening kids. toys, bro. Yeah. And then it was just like, now like how like old is he? 30 million a year, seven, eight, nine. What? Something like that. He's multi-billionaire. Yeah, but it, I mean, his parents are smart, so it's always him shooting around their house, like yeah. opening toys. What's their security like? Things. <laughs> Looks like it's loose. Yeah. Looks like it's mad loose. A little lax, so, right? You know what I mean? Right. They don't even got a fence. They got like, just like low edges. It looked like Orlando. Wait till his parents got to do it in the box. He's <laughs> 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 like, we're going to Ryan Toys with you. Ryan Toys with you, yeah. <laughs> you hear that shit early in the morning. 
<laughs> and your first gig was at age 10 for Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have, unlimited, found that. Do you have yeah. unlimited chicken for life? I wish, man. That was my first gig, so I just took the little eight hundred dollar check. And what you have? What was your? Do you remember your lines? Oh yeah, it was. I was, you know, supposed to be fishing with my fake granddad, mm -hmm. and <laughs> I say, uh, "Grandpa, the fish ain't biting today," mm -hmm. and he hands me a piece of chicken. <laughs> 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 okay. Did you see the creative? Yeah, I, <laughs> Ten years old. So, <laughs> take a big bite of chicken and say, "Oh, I like this kind of bite." And then I remember the director telling me, "Like, take a bigger piece, take a bigger." How bite many takes? Take a bigger piece. <laughs> yeah, and I was oh, just no. like, "Man, this is racist as hell." But, <laughs> you know, whatever. Yo, we gotta keep the lights on. You know what I'm saying? Fake granddad is he good with it? So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was excited, but oh. yeah. Yeah, so you brought back, I brought back all that. It's iconic, man. Um, who are you? I'm, I'm Keenan. No. No, I don't think that's right. Like yeah, a, man, I'm so proud, I was like man. Living single for the. For, for Thank you, but yeah, 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 man, it's it's a big deal. Hey, living single, I said yeah. living single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> living single. What is that, by the way? Is that rum? I mean, you can have some. Little hey, I'll pour this out. You want? Look, it's our show. Watch. Yeah. Wow, oh, balling. You see how he balling on y'all? Thank you. That's all right. Time me now. Easy, easy. Cheers, man. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 y'all, man. Successful, man. To longevity. To longevity. Success. Also, we drinking with the longest person on SNL. Mm -hmm. Put some respect on that. You know what I'm saying? Who were some of your comic idols growing up? Like, what brought you into the comedy game? I mean, you know, it was Eddie and Bill at first, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then I started, like, being able to get into Richard once I was of age to be able to listen. What and, age were you listening? Still young, you know, How young? like middle schoolish. Okay, like sneaking it, like most yeah. deaf, most deaf. What's I'm, crack? Between that and Purple Rain, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> jumping in the lake scene. Yeah, I always turn it off. Um, but yeah, I mean, Bill, Eddie, and then you know Richard, and then you know of course Dave, who we just honored. You know yeah, what I'm saying? and that was amazing. Um, he just won the Mark Twain Award. Mm -hmm. so that was huge. Um, and then Lemmy Cutler came out, so you know Jim Carrey and mm -hmm. you know all those other people, and then of course anybody from SNL because trading places and coming to America and all of that was it's on an iconic institution. Up. Yeah. Canonical. Yeah. How does it feel knowing because this is SNL is not just a show; it's a show the nation tunes into for right. like to find out the vibes, to find out how people feel about different it's politics like, and everything. Yeah. The temperature Saturday. of the country. How yeah. did like what's the pressure on like? Did you, do you feel that when you're rehearsing when you guys are writing? A thousand percent. A thousand percent. I mean, uh, you feel it every show. I mean, that's what comedy is. You know, we can feel it right now. Like, we trying to be funny and they're not responding. Like, we feel that. You know right. what I'm saying? It's not like you can just go out there and, you know, it's not like being a rapper where you got a hit record and yeah. like, every time you play it, it feels good to mm -hmm. everybody. You, you know even got to sing this shit. You just hold the mic. Like, I, I, was, I, was watching, you, like, I was watching. I paid 500 dollars to sit right there and sing you know my shit for me. Sing hey. my shit. Hey, hey. looks like the easiest job in the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. But comedy, you know what I mean? Set up punchline is the only way to do it. Right. So, is there a character that you played on SNL that you like more than any other character that you played? I mean, if I gotta put one above all, I mean, I don't know, David Ortiz is like a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's right up your alley. Right? <laughs> <laughs> My man, it's okay, yeah. I like it. You, you know, know what I mean? mean? Yankee fans, but it's okay, I'm allowed. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing that I get away with in New York is being that Boston dude that, like wearing that Boston jersey. It's like only because that shit is funny. That shit's you know, hilarious. Let it go. That's, that and the what's up with that guy. Oh, uh, thank Ooh. you, man. Family Feud is another one that I like mm -hmm. doing. Yo, has Steve ever like had words with you? Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> he called, uh, especially the first time, he was like, watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's with that uncle energy. I mean, you know what? He I'll, real from Cleveland. Yeah. You know he's he with that Crown Royal uncle energy. Like, but I've yeah. known him, I guess, for so long. Yeah. So once I continued to do it, he started to love it. And then I went on the show and we talked about it. And, you know, it's all Steve. Good. You know what I'm saying? Shout to the heart. Oh, <laughs> man. Got too you know, much money to be you know mad, what I'm man. Uh, <laughs> so wait, you you have an any? You have an Emmy. I got well, yeah. I got All right, one. for the song "Come Back with Rock" mm -hmm. that you wrote with Chance the Rapper and the homie Chris Red. That's right, the homie Chris Shut Red. Where yeah, is the Emmy? Definitely. It's in my house. I, I had it in my bedroom, and then it, it freaked me out looking at it. Every yeah, day. it's a lot of pressure. It's like, can I get another one? Yeah, that's what we always want. Yeah. We always ask. We try to see if our guest is the person that has the Emmy when you first walk in, or maybe like. Well, now, it, now it's in the living room. My okay. wife put it out in the living room. Like but it. it's like way up in on a bookshelf or something. And you desire to try to get an EGOT? 
Yeah, man. Yeah. John Legend got it, man. John and I feel like he got like you know the worst part is off of one project. Bro, it's crazy. It's wild. I think right? he's cheating, low key. Uh, be like, also, oh, I'm in the King yeah, and I'm man. He only win an Oscar for a soundtrack and then get a Tony for a soundtrack and then get an Emmy for a soundtrack. soundtrack? You know what I'm and also, he leads with that. He's like, hi, I'm John Legend. Egot. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, so like, hey, got you, man. It's like, yo, you see my like, beautiful children? My Egot. I'm, I'm like, sorry, wow. What John. is it? Egot? Is it? How many Grammys you got, bro? He's like, oh damn, um, like one, two, three, four, 2002. Thanks to Chrissy, we went to his house and like, you know, saw the little trophy. Walls like mm -hmm. you know, right when you walk in, big ass piano, and then like all the trophies. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not like a million of them, but it, it's enough to be like, oh, yeah, this house is nice. Yeah. Are <laughs> oh, you rich, rich? It, it yeah, changes right. your tone in the house. You're a like, little oh, bit. Oh, like, can I have a little bit. Have some water? Yeah, uh, manners I'm start just, coming I'm into play. Yeah, right. over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, have you heard from Barack since making that song? He tweeted that night. He mm -hmm. said he liked it. He saw it, it. Liked it. You know what I mean? Have you heard, have you heard from him since then? Nah, uh, damn, Barack, what's up? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Yo, bro? jump on a remix, you know my G. Got oh, your boy right. producing it. We need you. you know Ima yo, imagine if Barack drops a fire verse. <sighs> Little Trump diss track? He got it in him. Got it. You know I he do. I believe he yeah, hasn't he done bars. it yet. He got bars. You know he does. Shit. Right. Like, bro, I know you got it's, bars on the low. Isn't he one of the coolest people you've ever seen in your life? In politics, for sure. Oh, my God. I mean, absolutely. I ain't, I've never seen anybody close to that kind of charisma. I also had never seen a president that seemed like they were just answering the question that was asked to them without having it prepared, you know right. I mean? Like a human being, you know what I mean? Just like, ask me something, I can respond. Right. Yeah. And he's smoking a bogey the whole depth, time. Like, yeah. He's like, yo, listen, man. I'll tell you about the insurance plan. <laughs> we can't afford it. Ah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I'm, I don't know, man. That I feel like the dude just had the craziest swag I've ever seen. Would you see yourself in 30 years? Man, are you gonna be? Are you grinding, hopefully man. you gonna be like cool granddad? Yeah, I would love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, not having to walk too far. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, is that, like, is that the goal right there? Like, like, my kids got me this yeah, rascal. Right, right. I was <laughs> just gliding around. Um, but you know, yeah, still grinding. Still doing. Still, still doing grinding. SNL. That would be fun, man. Wouldn't that be crazy? That'd be great. If you still doing it at 30. Bruh. Bro. Some Garrett Morris flow. Crazy. Like, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, but we'd have to rename it after you though. I don't know, man. It's one of them jobs is like, why would you ever leave? Because it's not like it ever, you know, gets redundant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The show changes every single week. It's always relevant. Right. Yeah. yeah, they always hire, you know, new young people to write it and shit like that. So the tone is always relevant. And it's current. still fun to make. Have you ever stepped up in the writer's room and been like, yo, 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 y'all wildin'? With a sketch or like some like an idea? No, of only when I'm writing my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to respect them because you know I feel like a lot of them are a lot smarter than me. You know what mm. I'm saying? They actually finish college and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> trap out gang, we out here. You know if it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the structure. I tried too. <laughs> I mean, I went. I was supposed to be going to film school and I was supposed to transfer because I didn't get a scholarship to film school and then. I was gonna live inside the state for a year and go much cheaper, but my mom didn't want me to take a year out of school because that's usually when people decide not to go. Right. They when call it a gap year because you're the working at the gap. Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I went to you know this other transfer school for two years, and then after three years, I was still a freshman, so I just called it quits. Damn, that's not like Cam Newton's journey, dog. Yeah, like, no, I'm not paying attention. I went to the JUCO and then uh, yeah, uh, went first in the draft. JUCO. <laughs> All right, we have to ask. I don't know this. why that sounds like juvenile correction. It sounds weird, right? Because you're probably like, yo, I'm gonna go to the Juco first and go back to college. college. It's like, nah, <laughs> no one like ever that? goes to Juco. Yeah, no one ever goes to Juco for regular college. Here, <laughs> what was the most worthless, wasteful uh, purchase you made when you first got on? Because you seem like a very reserved, very I'm gonna watch my money kind of guy. What's yeah. the one thing you wore? You was like, yo, I'm wilding out here. I bought a Forerunner, a Toyota Forerunner, and I thought I was balling out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Four, I was like, I was like, uh, what kind of? I was like, uh, I was like a Louis Vuitton four runner, like. Oh, I thought I was balling out of control because it was like, you know, I was, I turned eighteen and bought myself a car. You know, I got to buy it. You know what mm -hmm. what no rims, no. I put rims on it eventually, but at first it was just stock. The stock. And like, oh man, little tires on the little four runner. Little ten inch just. Like, so much gap in the wheel well. <laughs> <laughs> Whack. <laughs> but that back window rolled down, and that was player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to power everything. Yeah. 
But that was right when like the expedition came out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, so it kind of like yeah, the Forerunner was big, and then all of a sudden like all the bigger SUVs. You came, came out with the Hummer, yeah, like yeah, oh, oh, man. Man. come on, man. Come on, dog. Like, you fit twelve people in the Hummer. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm gonna get this parking spot right here. If there's any <laughs> advice you could tell the young, the version of you just starting out in the business, what would that be? I mean, probably just you know hold your head, watch your money, like the you know same shit that you know my. Uh, true brothers in the game told me, you know what I'm saying? Like, just remember you got all the talent in the world. I remember Jamie Foxx told me that in passing on his show. Like, we were guests or something, and he was coming out of his dressing room, and he was going to go shoot or whatever, and he was walking past us, and he happened to notice, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. he was like, hey, man, you man, you got all the talent in the world. This was early in the Nickelodeon game, so he, just for him to have that awareness, you know what I'm saying, and to pass those kinds of words along, I was like, it, it never left me. You know right. what I'm saying? He was like, man, just believe in yourself. Don't listen to the word no. Smoke less weed. Um, All right, let's relax. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, or maybe smoke more. I don't yeah, know. So one is, one of the smoke other. better earlier. So, yeah, there you that's, go. What, that's what it is. Find better weed yeah, earlier. It's five in the, in the morning, my kids wake me up, right. I just sneak into the basement, you know I mean? get in the Take shower. Then step I come outside. Out, I don't smell like a pine bush no more. Yeah. You know them New York winters, you can step yeah. outside. They rough. They rough. They dealing with these habits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a bodega behind us. You know, every bodega has neon signs saying what's available with hot food, who can't use EBT, you know, whatever, whatever. What would you like your neon sign to say? Uh, Lotto, two billion, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thank you. Yo, if you want to do some more last, watch SNL and all that. All that. Right, oh, my God, he's been on SNL forever. He's going to be on it forever. Get in the building! <laughs> Thank you for coming. Damn! Salute. Salute.